Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, the Woohoo Wellness Mod has recently had an update to Module 10, which is the divorce, separation and child custody part of the Woohoo Wellness Mod. And I'm using the same family I used for the temporary separation video, I believe. So yeah, today we're just going to have a play about with it and see what, what's been added that is new. It might might not be a very long video, but I guess we'll see. So this couple, Elisa and Tommy, they got divorced in the last episode. Well, they're married again now. They have a very up and down relationship. And uh, basically, I'm going to make them separate again <laughs> for the second time. They've got three kids together, by the way. I'm going to get you back in your normal clothes because I... Um, I want to see what happens with the kids if their parents separate. And I didn't want to take any risks, so I wanted them to be married again at the start of this video. Just in case they had to be divorced after this update came out. But reading the update notes, it looks like that's actually not the case. They could have already been divorced and it would have worked fine, but... I got them back together anyway. So... Probably the best place to start is to give them a negative relationship and then start with the uh, the divorce proceedings, I think. So I'm just going to have her under relationship wellness, make up and break up. We're going to ask for a amicable separation. Oh, what's the reason? I think last time I said life crisis, I think. This time we're going to say they have no woohoo life. Yeah, this is probably the best place to have this conversation. At the table with your kid there, telling your husband that you want to separate because you don't have sex anymore while, while the kid is just sat. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sims, man, they just completely lack tact, don't they? <laughs> so they should have, yeah, not amicable. Elisa tried to ask for a peaceful, a peaceful, amicable, permanent separation, but was met with anger. Seems like the only path available is a conflictual one then. Oh, for fuck's sake, he didn't like it. No, not amicable. Oh, why you gotta try and start trouble there, Tommy? Huh? Okay, well, we're gonna ask him to move out again because I think the custody thing works after they're living in two separate homes because I'm pretty sure the, the way the system works is that when he moves out, the kids actually go to his place for however long he has custody for. So I'm going to try and change their uh, separation to an amicable one. Switch to amicable. There we go. Okay, so Tommy's going to move out. Maybe we'll move him back in with that teen he lived with before. The completely not creepy setup he was in. Oh, it looks like she's gone. Okay, well, we'll just move in with these people then. Can't afford to get a place of your own now that you're broke. Okay, so I wonder if I have any options with just him with this for the time being. Look for a divorce lawyer. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Go look for a lawyer. Okay, so we have the, we've got some options here under divorce lawyer, free representation, better than nothing, probably, cheap representation, standard or expensive. Let's go for standard representation. So that was, what, 900 simoleons? So he's gone now. Tommy decided to hire a lawyer. It's time to go discuss his case with his chosen professional. I like the options, and I'm guessing they all impact the outcome. Like, maybe if I went for a free one, he wouldn't be given any custody or something. I don't know. Okay, he's back. No new mood buffs from that visit. But do I have any new options with this guy? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm going to switch over to the other house, unless there's anything on his phone. I mean, I'm guessing I just kind of have to wait until I get an update or wait until they get divorced, I don't know. Let's flip over. Go back to the main house. Okay, so I'm guessing she can also hire a divorce lawyer. Yeah, so I'm gonna get her to go for an expensive lawyer and see what the difference is. You know, I'm liking this. Any new sentiments? Oh, whoops. So we're gonna go for expensive representation. And then under his profile, what do we have? Divorcing, amicable split up, 
resentful about divorce. Okay, okay. So then when she gets back from her meeting with the lawyer, um, I'm going to get one of the kids to invite their dad over and then see what options they have after that. <laughs> they have a relationship with the teddy bear. That's cute. Okay, yeah, invite the dad. Oh, here he is. Oh, okay, she's back. So I'm guessing there's no more options if I just click on her. No, okay. So let's see if she has... I wonder if there's an option to talk to the kids about this. Yeah, I don't see anything yet in terms of, like, explaining the separation or anything. But what about with the dad? Are there any new interactions with him? Discuss custody of child. Yeah, go and discuss the custody of the kid. And then I guess we'll go into getting the divorce and then seeing how the custody system works. Discuss custody of, what well, Lila. Who will have custody of this child? Alyssa will have custody. Okay, so I can do it all in one go, that's good. Okay, so Alyssa's gonna have custody of all the kids. Custody for Lila has been decided. If she was not in the correct household yet, she has now moved. That's interesting. But then, ask to take child for a visit, okay. So it looks like he can just turn up and ask if he can take the kid, so I might try that. But let's go and finalise the divorce first. And then see if we have anything new before we switch back over to him and see if he can take the kids for a day or something. Elisa's divorce is now over and finalised. Oh. Uh, okay, so now the only option is ask to take child for a visit. Oh, and it even comes up under sentiments, Elisa has custody of Tommy's child. Huh, okay. Well, I'm going to send him home, and then I'm going to switch households over to him and see if he can have the kids over for a day or something. Okay, so it's pretty late. Maybe I'll wait until the morning, and then we'll go back to the other house and see if we can schedule a visit with the kids. Quite like this. Okay, well, it's past eight. It's a fairly reasonable hour to see if we can go get the kids. I wonder if it will only let me take one child at a time or whether I'll be able to take all three. Okay, let's go knock on the door, see if we can take the kids for a visit. Ask to bring child for a visit. So I wonder if that means that she would bring the children to his place? And there hasn't really been much um, in terms of, like, repercussion for the type of lawyer you choose yet. But I know that this mod isn't quite finished yet, because there's another part coming that's all about dividing the assets, like the estate and everything. So perhaps that might come into it the next time it gets updated. Pick the children to bring over. Okay, so I can choose a one-day visit, two-day... Well, one-day visit... So they're now a part of my family, the other two kids. Oh, okay, that's clever. So after a day, they'll go back to their mum's house. Okay, well then let's, uh, let's take the kids back home and then I'm gonna switch to the other household, I guess. Ah, oh, the kid's got a mood buff. It's gone now. She just had a mood buff saying wanting to stay home. And then the other kid says, happy visit. Nelly is glad to spend time with their other parent today. Does he have a mood buff? A custody visit. Tommy is happy to have the visit of his child today. So there isn't really any additional interactions with the kids for this. But I like that the kids switch households for a day and then they go back. So I'm going to flip over to the other household. See what's going on down there. They left one kid behind. The unloved one. So I wonder, if I just play through a day, I wonder if um, the kids just automatically come back. That kid needs to go to school. Go to school. Yeah, I'm going to play until Saturday and see if um, the kids come back automatically. Even the kid profiles say child in Alyssa's custody. Hmm. Oh, Reuben just aged into a teen. I wonder if the other kid will come home as a teen. Jesus, Reuben is like stacked. 
This is The Sims 4's idea of a teenager. This guy right here. This is a child who j just aged into a teen. Unbelievable. When are these kids coming back, man? Oh, Lila's already aged up into a teen. Maybe if I just invite them all to hang out. Oh yeah, it's time for Lila to go back home. The other parent will be there shortly. Okay, that's cool. So it does automatically send them home. So I think it was, what, 24 sim hours? And just like that, they've joined the family again. Well, I'm not going to get these two back together, but I might just try and make them, like, friends at least. Yeah, so it looks like my only option now is just take the child for a visit. Huh, okay. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this update. It actually makes co-parenting possible in The Sims. And I'm pretty impressed with that. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here, so I will. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.